From ABC News, this is Good Morning America. Live from Times Square, Charles Gibson and Diane Sawyer. All right, thanks, Tony. A question that I never expected to pose on television, but how much would someone pay to help a man lose his virginity? The things you can buy on the Internet when Good Morning America continues. Well, as we said, in just a few minutes, you're going to meet the British teenager who is auctioning off, yes, his virginity online. But it got us thinking about all the unusual and even bizarre items that even before this guy have been up for grabs. You're a good girl and that's what Everything's for sale these days, even a few bites of Justin Timberlake's leftover breakfast. Sounds strange, but 40 people once tried to get a nibble by bidding at the auction site eBay. The winner of the soggy French toast paid $3,154. Wacky examples abound. A piece of gum chewed by U.S. Major Leaguer Luis Gonzalez, a tooth that once belonged to Elvis Presley. And someone even claimed to have sold their soul for $400 back in 2001. The Internet has created a market for items that no one would have been able to sell before. Instead of having a garage sale, you can put the contents of your entire garage online and find a buyer anywhere in the world who might pay more than you ever would have imagined. So indulge your wildest whim for Gulfstream jets, $1 million U.S. Navy fighter planes, a handful of official Civil War dirt, and even a small northern California town. There's nothing you can't buy online. And now our next guest, who is selling, indeed, his first time, as they say, 19-year-old computer student David Vardy. So far, he says that he's had many people inquiring. He's going to close out and pick the winning bid when the sale ends this week. He'll choose among them. And so far, the offers are close to his goal of getting $11,000. David, David. David, let's talk about your little stunt here. Now, what's going on? What are you thinking of? What are you doing? Well, to be honest, Diane, by the age of 19, most people have been under enough peer pressure to have actually gone and lost their virginity. And as you can see, I haven't lost mine yet. What's the one thing I've got to do this summer besides tidy my bedroom? I've got to lose my virginity. So, uh, you know, being a creative person, what's the most crazy way I could have thought of doing it? I know I'll stick it out there on the Internet and see what sort of an interest I get. $11,000 U.S. You, you've had 7,000 hits on the website and about eight offers. Who are these people making offers? And surely you don't think of it as, them as confidence-inspiring mates here. Um, to be honest, some of them seem to have a little bit more money than sense, and uh, some of them seem to be just jokers. But luckily, I put a disclaimer on my website. I don't want to be dealing with any losers, stalkers, or murderers, so that cuts out about 90% of the population. Uh, the rest of the people, well, some of them uh, seem to have been models, actually. I was talking to a great model up in, uh, near London in England, and uh, she was very interested in bidding, but uh, due to the media attention this has actually uh, provoked, then uh, she's, she's retracted because she's got too much on her plate anyway. Uh, another person was actually from America in Texas. Uh, she was a woman, so I was very pleased about that. Uh, I got corresponding with her, and uh, she turned out to be 50. Well, apart from the appalling nature of this, isn't this just prostitution? I mean, I know the law has said it's a gray area, but let's face it, that's what it is, isn't it? Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree here. For me, what it is is losing my virginity. Now, I'm a very creative person, so this is the way I've chosen to go about it. You know, I'm not selling myself for sex repeatedly and repeatedly like a prostitute. And also, the money issue is simply there to, um, you know, put back the losers and, and make sure that uh, only serious bidders are interested in this. You know, I, I want to protect my own safety, to be honest here. All right, you got the publicity for it, David. Isn't it time to back out? Um, personally, no. I, I was in this from the start to lose my virginity, and I'll, I will see it through. So uh, I'm going to accomplish that if it's the last thing I do. Not some person you know that you really want to make this a good moment with? Um, no, I can't honestly say there is. Um, I only have friends. I, I don't have a serious girlfriend. So uh, the, the right person has not been found at the moment. And I appreciate that at some point in my life, the right person will be found. So. You know, thank God for that. Any chance you want to end up in the entertainment business someday? Well, to be honest, uh, since birth, I've already, always had a natural interest in creating comedy. I mean, I was recently uh, very engaged in producing a lot of stand-up material for a radio station in California. 
and I've always created my own little TV productions. So uh, one day it would be great to be in the media. Why am I not surprised? Okay, David Vardy, thanks for being with us. If I were your mother, you'd be on lockdown. I just want to tell you that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> and he's going to go through it.